I'm showing you the HLIC brand on that clone carburetor. It's a WJ67 Warlborough knockoff, and there are some identifying marks further to identify the HLIC. And what I want to do is make that carburetor larger uh, jet wise. There it is. And we'll take the proper size screwdriver, turn that out, and replace it with a 0.74 jet. It's either a 6.7 or a 6.9. And to do it, it's very simple. You take the correct size screwdriver, you put it in, you press firmly, you turn briskly, it'll, it'll snap loose, and then you just turn it out. But you don't want to deform that jet, uh, putting it uh, taking out or putting it in. I mean, you, you can use that later if you were to ever want to starve a, uh, a saw. I don't, uh, the EPA, they're not, they don't care. A saw needs its fuel and oil. That is the jet replacement. That 7.4 in the model number there tells you that it's a 7.74 uh, size jet. And don't get your old jet and your new jet mixed up. So store your old one first before you open your bag. Now you can probably start it with your fingers, I, I can't. So I'll use the screwdriver, but the technique I'll use is I'll turn it back and then turn it forward. And that will almost guarantee that I don't cross thread it. And you just press down and you turn get it tight without deforming it put your diaphragm back on line it up Now the snorkel goes to the side of the carburetor that has the shutter open on the, on the choke. And the best way to do those screws is to remember that they're really soft 
use the right size Phillips head, screw them all the way in and then tighten them diagonally and remember that you can strip them out immediately because they're soft. So your best defense is a, you know, is a good, uh, good fitting uh, Phillips head. And I'll come back and tighten it up. Thanks. Watch, subscribe, like.